안녕하세요 여러분 오늘은 월요일입니다 월요일에 스트리밍을 시작합니다 잘 지내셨나요? <웃음> so we have a few people already waiting for the live streaming You're all excited, yeah Rachel, hi, Ocean Discovery Joyce, Peter Hibernating, c h i b i Anna Anonymous Rachel, welcome everyone. Please let us know your name and where you're from because we love to get to know you. I know some people from uh, USA and other countries there, right? Anna and Peter, where are you from? Hi, Atika. Welcome. So this is another live streaming of the same webtoon. This is episode 2. Okay? So we enjoy so much of the episode 1 and we're gonna continue to do so. We'll see how long we're gonna do it for. But this episode is hilarious. But before I get into it, I'd like to show you this. Because yesterday we talked about Nicolas Cage uh, having a Korean wife. But I made a wrong information, like uh, I gave you wrong information. Alice Kim, she is the Korean wife that I was talking about. But they're no longer together, by the way, FII. And then another one, this is what Jess was mentioning, Eagle Spread. Yesterday we talked about baladang, like uh, laying on the back, right? So this is the eagle spread. I thought it's kind of funny. I wanted to share with you guys. <laughs> All right. Hi, v i c l a m Nice seeing you. So let's get into our episode two. It seems like someone's listening to music, right? Hi, cute boys. Thanks for joining. So listening to boys. All right, this is all in English, and I think this is the main character. She looks very different in episode two, right? She's like she's got some, you know, glasses and really thick eyebrows and things like that. Wearing very casual sweater at home. Wow, 진짜 멋있다. Okay. 임주경, 소리 줄여. 아, 알았어. Look at this. This is Apple. What's it called? Mac. Um, now, I don't have any Mac product. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It's like an MP3 player, right? Hi, Martina. Hi, uh, N. Haviv. iPod. Yeah, <laughs> That, there you go. I, it looks like iPod. 좋아하는 음악을 마음껏 들을 수 있고, okay. 좋아하는 만화와 영화를 실컷 볼수 있는 굉장히 행복한 중3 인생을 살고 있는 중이다. Okay. Hi, Dana. There you go. 여신강님. Wow, y a o n g i right? She's doing this. Look at her. T-shirt. She doesn't look like the woman that we recognized from episode one, right? This is not as f l a r r y as in like showing her body or not, but this is very casual sweater. Okay, it looks like school. So like yesterday was it hibernating chibi? You might have mentioned that she's in high school, right? So this is now going back to her high school period. So, listening to music, yeah, still listening, yeah, shh, yeah, 한자 where, which 한자, okay, 쾅, so, this is the uh, desk, legs, you know, it's metal usually, 쾅, someone's like hitting, Oh, 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 beyond. Look at her pimples, you know, wearing uniform. Very casual, I mean, not casual, common, I mean, very common look, 
in high school. These girls look very cool, you know, wearing like sweaters, you know. Oh, 진짜. They all look upset. 몇 번을 불렀는데 대답이 없어. 찐따. X sensory. 찐따. I think 년. 찐따 년아. 야, 가서 만두 사와. 만두. 아, 음. Okay, let's go to our study board. For those of you who are joining the live chat for the first time or live, this is how we do it. It's gonna be an interactive learning. Please have your pen, paper, and dictionary ready. So I'm gonna ask you questions throughout the streaming. Please answer the questions as much as you can because that's gonna help you to remember what you're learning. Hi, Paolo. Welcome. So this is subject orange color, object pink, verb blue. We're gonna underline word for word. All right, ready? Wow, this is just wow. <laughs> it's the opposite in English. Wow, we say wow. 진짜 너무 멋있다. I'm gonna scroll back all the way up to here. So she was listening or watching something at home. 진짜. What's 진짜? 너무 and 멋있다. Technically, you can separate 멋 and 있다. But we use it together. 멋있다. Yeah. Really? Very? You could have just said 진짜 멋있다. Or 너무 멋있다. But sometimes we put them together. 진짜 너무 멋있다. So mud by itself, it is uh, stylishness. This is a noun. Okay? By itself, stylishness. Okay? 있다 exist. You have the style, as in to be cool. Wow, they're really cool. We know what she's looking at. It's some kind of band, right? Wow, they're really cool. Okay. So, Kim Jugyeong, 소리 줄여. I think it's her mom or sister. Somebody's yelling over. Kim Jugyeong, it's her main character name. 소리 줄여. What is 소리? This is the object here. Even though object particle is not there, but we know it. Because 줄여 is from 줄이다 verb. What is 줄이다? 소리 줄여. Okay? Sound. Reduce the sound. Turn it down. Okay? So you're too loud. Turn it down. 소리 줄여. 아, 알았어. 알다 verb. This is more like, yeah, turn down. Turn it down. Or keep it down. Okay? 알았어 is actually from the verb 알다, to know. But when it's used in past tense, it doesn't mean I knew it. It's more like I got it. Alright, I got it. 알았어. Okay, okay. 좋아하다 verb. 는 is adjective. Yeah, understood. I like that. 좋아하는 adjective describing 음악. What is 음악? 음악 with object particle. So we know this is object. 마음껏 들을 수 있고. Okay. So 좋아하다 verb. What is 좋아하다? 좋아하는 makes it an adjective. So music I like. Music I is omitted technically. Music I like. Okay. 마음껏. This one with full heart. 마음 has a meaning of heart or mind, right? 껏 normally means with full, with all your heart. 들을 수 있고. This is the word from 듣다. Technically, it's not ending with R. It's 듣다 verb. What is 듣다? 
So when you either conjugate it or when you attach with another verb ending, 듣다 becomes 들. 들어요. 음악을 들어요. I listen to music or I hear. Okay? So I listen to music. But 을수 있다. This is a verb ending. What's that? Okay. I can. This is can. After syllable that ends with a consonant. Okay. When it ends with a vowel, you're gonna add just R underneath. Okay. In this case, it ends with a consonant. You're gonna add 을수 it. So I can listen to music I like. With full heart, whatever I want, that's what it means. Go. This is conjunction. And I can do that. And what? 좋아하는 만화 영화를 again the same verb adjective. So something I like. Why? 만화 와 영화를. What's that? Object particle. This wa, I'm gonna use a different color. I can listen to. I can listen to music I like. Mm -hmm. So, this one wa is and, right? Noun and noun. Okay? This one wa, it's used after a syllable that ends with a vowel. Okay? So, comic and movie. Okay. This is a uh, Joyce mentioned manga, right? Manga, manga slash comics. That's right. So, manga wa and yongha, movie. Okay. 를 실컷 볼수 있는. 실컷. It's a similar meaning as mom got. Neighbor says heartily. Okay. So if you don't have any dictionary right now, you can check out this dictionary, neighbor dictionary. This is what I use in case you don't have any dictionary. Chilkot, if you look it up, it said heartily. It's the same meaning pretty much as mom got. Chilkot, 볼수 있는. So again, 보다 verb, like I mentioned, right? Can, 알수 it. After syllable that ends with a vowel, right? 는 makes it an adjective, describing what comes after. I know this is kind of complicated sentence. Look at this. Starting from here until at the end, here. Okay? But we'll get through it together. So, I can what? Watch cartoon and movie I like heartily. But let's figure out what comes after. 굉장히 행복한 중삼 인생을. Okay? 굉장히. What's that? This is an adverb. 굉장히. It's a similar meaning as 아주. 굉장히. Tremendously. Greatly. Okay? 굉장히 행복한. 행복한. This is an adjective from 행복하다. What's the verb here? 행복하다. Describing what comes after. Can you guys see well? Okay. Be happy. That's right. This is an adjective. Happy. 중상, 중삼 생, 인생. What's that? 중삼 인생. 을 object particle. 중삼. 중 is from 중. 학교, which is middle 
school, right? Jun has a meaning of uh, has a meaning of middle, middle school. We just said Jungsam, middle school, third grade. Jungi, middle school, second grade. Jungil, middle school, the first grade, right? We have up to three. We don't have the uh, junior or junior high or whatever it is that Western country uses. We have middle school, one, two, three. And then high school, another one, two, three. Okay? Jungsam is the last grade of middle school. 15 in Korean age. <laughs> 15, when you're 15 in Korea, that's Korean age for Jungsam. Okay? You know why I say Korean age. Right? Do you guys know why I say Korean age? Korean age, we have a different way to count age compared to international way to count age. Oh, Brazil, 13. Maybe. That's what I mean. So it could be 13 or 14. Depends on if your birthday has passed. <laughs> okay, I guess that's another, that's another uh, video we can do it later. So, the third grade of middle school life. 살고 있는 중이다. 살다, verb, what's that? 살다, go, Eat, nun adjective. So much of a combination. Oh my. Ida. That's right. This is live. Salda. So, salgo innen. What's the verb root plus go itta? What's the verb root? Plus go itta. Hmm? It's a ing tense. Living. Right? 우리는 공부하고 있어요. We are studying. ing tense. Right? 저는 차를 마시고 있어요. Hmm. ing tense. Present progressive, right? So this is adjective 중이다. What is 중이다? This is the same thing as 중 here. So when you see 중, be verb, it means in the middle of. To be in the middle of something. In this case, to be in the middle of living. What life? 중삼 life. Okay, so this is such a long sentence, but we're going to do it together. So main subject, there is no subject, what the hell? We know it is I, Jugyeong, the main character. I am in the middle of living the third grade of middle school life, but what kind of life? Happy life. But tremendously happy life so the life has uh, adjective clause here the life that I can watch comic and movie heartily I like or uh, I can watch heartily comic and movie I like and I can also listen to music I like with full heart. So this part is all adjective clause. The whole thing. The first part and the second part describing this tremendous happy life to my heart's content. Ah, I see. So, she's living in that lifestyle. She loves it. She loves the music and movie, whatever she likes to do. 
Okay, she doesn't have to work. That's good. Yeah, yes. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down here. So she is now in school, still listening. Yeah, yeah. Kwang, Kwang has the uh, the meaning of sound. This is a sound word. Kwang, slam. Kwang, Kwang. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What? Mian, sorry. Clang. Okay. Mian, sorry. Ouch, 진짜. Ow, we say like when you're so frustrated. Ow, 진짜. It's almost like she's gonna punch her. Right? 몇 번을 불렀는데 대답이 없어. 찐따녀나. 몇 번을 불렀는데. This is object particle. 을. 몇 번. What's 몇 번? And 불렀는데 past tense 는데 conjunction. So this verb is 부르다. Okay. Becomes 불러 says past tense. How many times I called? Right? That's good. This is call. 부르다, call somebody, not about calling here. Okay? This is 전화하다, or 전화 걸다. Dial a phone, 전화 걸다. This one, 부르다, call somebody. Okay? How many times I called you, but what? 대답이 없어. 대답. What's 대답? E subject particle, 없어. There is no reply. You cannot use an object with this verb, right? There is no response. Response or answer does not exist. That's good. Joyce summarized everything. <laughs> reply, answer, response. Hi, Karita. Thanks for joining. So this is like a cinta as in loser. You know, at school, there's always somebody who is not really, like, um, taking care of themselves. You know, like, she's uh, got pimples, too, here. And, you know, not stylish, very much, like, a geeky look. So this one, I looked it up, it says loser. Very negative. Jinta, loser. X, I think it's like, nyon. Nyon is generally, it's a slang word. Ah, it's just calling somebody. Ah, right? Yeah, hey, 가서 만두 사와. 가서 가다 verb 서 만두 사와. 만두 is an object. What's 가다 verb here? Let's scroll down. 가다 verb 서. This is conjunction. Okay? 가다, go, and then. Okay? This is 서 conjunction. And then. 만두? Yeah, that's right. 만두 좋아해요? Oh. 고기 만두, 전 고기 만두 좋아해요. So good. You know, when I, I lived in Ilsan, have you ever been to Ilsan? That's in Gyeonggi province. They were selling dozen of steamed dumplings for one dollar. I'm like, I can just live here. <laughs> 사다 verb. This is actually two verbs together. 사다 오다. Buy and come back. Right? 사와. Buy and come back. 만두 dumpling. Right? Quick, quick is like this motion. Okay? Remember this motion. Look at this. Okay, this motion. Mandu. Oh, okay. She has no choice. You know, they're gonna just beat her up, which is not cool. Madam. Uh, I don't know what just happened. Okay. 
when I use Ctrl S, I don't mean to do Ctrl S on OBS. It's just like a zoom. All right, so 중얼중얼. Look at here. 김정혜는 고기 만두. 이미 나는 김치 만두. I guess those girls' name. And she's still listening to music. She loves music. <laughs> At least they gave her the money. Yeah, that's good. Why? Wow, they can trust her, right? <laughs> 아줌마, 김치 만두 하나, 고기 만두 하나 주세요. Wow, look at that. Wow, 감사합니다. Still listening. It looks like her glasses are steamy now. <laughs> 학교에서 조금 불편한 것들을 빼면 꽤나 살만하다. Can I read this to me? 아, 고기, 김치 맞겠지? She's still thinking, am I buying the right one? <웃음> oh, look at her, she's uh, tripping. Ooh, wow, 끼약! This is just the sound. Okay, so let's go to the study board. I think there are a lot of sound words that we're gonna learn so much in Webtoon. Okay, so we're in Mejam. What is Mejam? This is what you see in school. Almost every school has mejam. Jom has a meaning of store, right? Jom. Me has a meaning of sell. Mejam is like a snack bar. In school, there is mejam. You can buy different snacks. Hmm? You can buy drinks or, you know, bread, whatever. In this case, dumplings. It's like snack bar. 중얼, 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 중얼. She is like a reciting. What is 중얼, 중얼? 중얼, 중얼 is like a mumbling. 아, 중얼거리지 마. Don't mumble. Okay? 중얼, 중얼. Sounds like mumble, mumble. <laughs> 김정혜는 고기 만두, 이미 나는 김치 만두. 김정혜는, that's one of the girl's name. 는, even though this is subject particle, I'm gonna think of it as comparison, as for. Even this one. Okay? Uh, for Kim jong -e, gogi mandu. For imi na kimchi mandu. What's gogi? Gogi is meat. Meat dumpling. Kimchi, obviously, you know. Kimchi dumpling. Ah, vending machine, I see. Gogi can be pork or beef. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why. Usually dumplings, they have pork meat. I love beef more than pork, to be honest, in dumplings. So I wish they had more of the beef dumplings. 아줌마, 김치 만두 하나, 고기 만두 하나 주세요. 아줌마, what's 아줌마? Mm-hmm. 소고기 is beef, that's right. We often use animal name plus 고기. 소고기 is beef because 소 is cow. Cow meat becomes beef. 돼지고기, 돼지 is pig. Pig meat becomes pork. I don't know why English has new words to describe meat. Yeah, Mrs. 아줌마, 김치 만두 하나? 하나, one. 고기 만두 하나, one. You could have said 한 개. Because 개 can be a counting unit. If you're going to use 개 counting unit, you say 한 개. Since it is just one, you could just use 하나 without counting unit. 주세요. Okay, 주다 verb 세요. Please, ending. So you guys know that when you order something, we never say, can I please get kimchi mandu and gogi mandu? Or I like to have it. 
Nobody says like that. In Korean, it's very simple. Please give <laughs> what I want. <laughs> Please give kimchi mandu. Okay? So, when you order something in Korean restaurants, you just use 주세요 for everything. Wow, 감사합니다. Thank you. Okay? You know, thank you, 감사합니다, same as 고맙습니다. They're the same thing, interchangeably used. Okay? 학교에서 조금 불편한 것들을 빼면 꽤나 살만하다. 학교에서 조금 불편한 것들을 빼면 꽤나 살만하다. There is a conjunction. What's the conjunction? Anyone knows? Mian. This is if. Okay? If or when sometimes. Depends on the context. If I what? Do this verb. 빼다. 김치 만두에서 김치 좀 빼주세요. Can you remove kimchi from kimchi mandu? 빼다. Leave out. Remove. Right? Leave out. 아, 고추장 좀 빼주세요. Can you leave out red pepper paste? Take out what? Take out what? 불편한 것들을. 을, 어제 바래코, 들, makes the verb, uh, makes the noun what? Plural. Okay, this is like s. Plural, s. 불편한 것들. 불편한, this is from, yeah, 불편하다, uncomfortable, or discomfort, 것, describing 것, uncomfortable things. So you can interpret this one as unpleasant, unpleasant things. 조금, a little bit, at school. So if I remove, a little bit of uncomfortable things at school. What she's referring to here? Those bullies telling her to do something. That is kind of makes her uncomfortable, right? I think she's referring to those incidents. Guena, what's guena? And then 살만하다. Guena. You could have just said gue. 꽤 살만하다. But we add na quite as in almost uh, um, quantity. Yeah, very. Yeah. Quite 살만하다. Did you lose it? Oh, please let me know if you guys lost me. You got it back. Oh. Did you guys lose me for a second? Oh, interesting. Maybe there are a lot of YouTube uh, streamings going. That's weird. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't touch anything, I don't think. 살만하다. This is from 살다 verb, 만하다. We learned this verb ending in one of our lyrics live streaming. Do you remember manada? Manhada. Okena. This is uh, uh, quite, quite, very, quite. Okay? Yeah, worth it. That's right. It's worth to leave. Quite. Worth leaving. Ah, sada verb. You could have, yeah, that's right. 살만하다 can be worse to buy, but in this case, to leave. Because 살다 verb has R underneath, you don't have to add another R because it's got already R here. So it's worthwhile to leave quite. If I remove a bit of discomfort things at school, I think that's what she means. I can live. I can get by. 
I could get by if I can remove those kind of discomfort situations. Does it make sense? 고기, 김치 맞겠지? 고기 and 김치, would that be right? She's still concerned. 맞겠지? Will confirmation, right? Oh, would that be right? Still not sure, right? Mm -hmm. So here, tuck. So she got tripped. Ooh, yeah, shoom, tuck. You guys know it's self-explanatory. So here, let's go here. Mandu, ah, Andre. She's so desperate right now. Oh, really? That's weird. But is it back online again? Maybe there are a lot of... Oh, that's weird. Maybe there are a lot of streams going on YouTube. Oh, that's good that it's back. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Rachel, for letting me know. Otherwise, I have no idea. <laughs> Okay. Oh, 이런 이런 미안. So somebody tripped her. 내 아름다운. Okay. 롱다리에 걸려 넘어져 버렸구나. I wasn't sure if this is a man or a woman, to be honest. Like, look at this person's eyes. Aren't they so beautiful with full eyelashes? All right. 내가 잠시 여기 앉아 고독을 씹고 있었는데 그만 미안해 <웃음> 아 아니 괜찮아요 다리가 진짜 기시네요 아이 사람이 유명한 급식실 오빠? 탁탁탁탁 you know? Look at the strong chin <웃음> and then 어라? 이 연주는 마릴린 맨손? 아 그거 제 MP 몇 개를 쏘야 Oh that's mine, that's mine We learned this word yesterday When the guy was sneaking in to sit, sit beside her 싱긋 We also learned that one 하하 <laughs> 너란 아이 Alright So let's go back here 아, 안 돼. 왜? 만두 안 돼. What happened to 만두? Dumplings. 안 돼. 되다 verb, when it's used with 안. 안 돼. Oh, no way. You can interpret it as almost no way. That can't be. 안 돼. When you're telling somebody 안 돼, means you can't. Don't do it. You can't. I don't approve you. Okay? But when in this situation, when you're saying something tragic happened, right? Right in front of you. And they, oh no, that's right, Rachel. Oh, 이런, 이런, 미안. 이런. That's also kind of no way, as in, 이런, damn it. But as in, not as aggressive as when you say, damn it. This is like a, oh, damn it. Oops, oops. 이런. 미안. Sorry. Right? Do you guys know that this kind of emoticon? Korean use this a lot, right? Because when we talk, we actually say this way, this type of intonation, or we drag it, right? 미안. Right? <laughs> yeah. So in texting, when you don't use this type of ending, almost people would think that are you upset? Like we almost assume that oh you're not really engaging. You wanna add yeah lengthening yeah the vowel. That's right, Peter. So this is almost safe version 
to talk to somebody over text. If you don't use any of the emoticons, it sounds like you're mad or, or something. So, 미안, sorry. 내 아름다운 롱다리에 걸려 넘어져 버렸구나. Okay. So, what's that mean? 아름다운. He is calling his legs. 아름다운. Adjective describing long daddy. Beautiful. This is the from a uh, verb 아름답다. That's why B irregular conjugation becomes U. 아름답다. My long, long that uh, my beautiful long legs. So long. This is the same English word long, long daddy. Tari has a meaning of legs. Tari also has a meaning of bridge. Tari, bridge. In this case, human legs. Kolida, verb. Kolida. Kolya nomochida. Wow, there are three verbs actually together. And kuna ending. Kolya. Kolida. Look up the verb, kolida. Okay? And this one, nomochida. Nomochida. Kolida is tripped. When you trip over, kolyod kolida. This one, nomochida. Oh, you mean walk? Kotta. Kotta is to walk. Mm hmm. Kolida, you trip over, nomochida, sorry, nomochida, we know chida part of the verb, it is passively done, right? To become fall down, right? You don't fall down on purpose, right? That's why passively done. You fall down, 버렸구나. When 버리다 is ha uh, used with another verb, it means just happen without your force, intention, right? It just happened. So this is actually hidden conjunction, 걸려 and then, or because. It could be either or, depends on the context. You fell down because you trip over, or you trip over and then you fell down. Doesn't matter how you want to interpret it. 구나. This is a verb ending, realizing. Oh. I realize you fell down because you trip over my beautiful long legs. Right? Okay? 내가 잠시 여기 앉아 고독을 씹고 있었는데 내가 나 plus subject particle 내가 I 잠시 What's 잠시? 여기 앉아. Again, this is hidden conjunction. It could be and then or because. I what? 앉아. 여기. Yeah, for a moment. I sat down here for a moment. Okay. I sat down here for a moment. And then what? 고독을 씹고 있었는데 씹다 고 있었는데 And 고독을 What's 고독을? 고독 is loneliness or solitude, right? 씹다 verb, we learned it yesterday to 문자를 씹다 Chew text that's ignoring text messages. In this case, chewing solitude. Would it be an expression? I feel like 고독을 씹다 is like you're con contemplating. You know, you're alone and contemplating something. 고독을 씹고 있다. Okay? 고 있다, again, this is ing, right? ing. 는데, open conversation. So, I was sitting here for a moment and then 
I was contemplating open conversation. 그만. 있었는데 그만. <laughs> this is uh, kind of interesting because 그만, what's 그만 in general? It's not the same way it's used in this context. 그만해. Stop it. 그만 verb. Stop doing the action. 그만 공부하세요. Stop studying. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody tells you 그만 공부해. Or 그만 놀아. Stop hanging out, right? But in this case, it's used alone. It's not stop being sorry. 그만. Used by itself, right? In this case, you can think of it as like that. Happened like that. So I was contemplating, but it just happened like that. Okay? So, 내가 잠시 여기 앉아 고두고 씻고 있었는데 그만. They're used together. It's not like 그만 verb. This is this phrase and then 그만. You have to connect them almost when you say. Yeah. 고두고 씻고 있었는데 그만. As in, it just happened like that. 미안해. Sorry. Okay? So, why? Ha ha ha, right? She's, he's just laughing. Ah, oh, my mistakes. Ah, <laughs> 아니, 괜찮아요. She's so nice. She's like, ah, 아니, no, never mind. It's okay. 괜찮다, right? 괜찮다. It's okay. 괜찮아요. 다리가 진짜 기시네요. What's that mean? 다리가, subject particle, legs, 진짜, really? 기시네요. 네요, verb ending. So in this case, do you see here? Verb plus 시. So this is making the verb more polite. Technically, uh, hibernating, you're right. Technically, this 기, you may be thinking, is this 기다? No. It is actually 기다. When you add she, we remove R. Okay? 다리가 진짜 길시네요. We don't say that. 다리가 진짜 기시네요. Okay? An exclamation mark. Wow, your legs really long. Yeah, she's looking at it, you know? Wow, your legs really long. 아, 이 사람이 그 유명한 급식실 오빠? 이 사람이, what's that? This 사람이 subject particle. 그 유명한, it's a verb adjective. 유명하다 verb. 유명하다. Becomes Han as an adjective. Famous. Yeah, this person, the famous 급식실 오빠. What's a 급식실? Do you see he's almost wearing an apron? That's why I thought that maybe he looks more feminine because he's wearing kind of a feminine top. And he's got this sleeves, right? 급식실. This is like the shield has a meaning of room. Like 교실, classroom. Shield has a meaning of room, public room. 급, 배급하다, to distribute. 식 has a meaning of 음식, food. Distributing food room, as in cafeteria. But it's not really the same cafeteria that you imagine, like 식당, that's cafeteria too, right? But in this case, usually in Korean schools, high schools, or whatever it is, and I think even in middle school, either you pack your lunch or you pay for monthly 급식. 급식 is something that school 
uh, pays for the food service and then come in and bring fresh food. And people either volunteer or teacher tell you to be whatever, you don't make money, I don't think. And you distribute food to other students. Yeah, hot lunch, I see. Can you guys have that? So even me, when I was in middle school, we had to take turn actually. Okay, now it's my turn to serve food. But it seems like he is well known for serving food. He works there. 그 유명한 급식실 오빠? So maybe he's not one of the students? I'm not sure yet. So tak tak, she's just like, you know, brushing it off her knees. Ora, what's that? Ora. Oh, I see. Students never serve food. Maybe this time, maybe things have changed in Korea too. But back then, when I was a student, we had to take turn. Yeah. Ora. What's ora? Ho. It's like ho in, in English. Ho. Wait a minute. Ho. 이 연주는? 이 연주는 subject particle. What's 연주? 저는 노래를 연주해요. I perform music. 연주하다. This is 연주 as a noun. This performance. It's almost like he can hear her music. He, she just fell down, tripped over her, her, uh, his long legs, right? So maybe the music was still playing. Oh, this performance? Marily Manson, who's that? I think B verb is missing. That performance is Marily Manson. Do you know Marily Manson? I guess it's the band. Maybe she was listening to earlier. And then she's like, Oh, oh, you know them. Oh. Ah, 그거 MP. I see, he's famous. 그거, that, the thing. The thing. JMP. My MP3. B verb is missing. That is my MP3 player. We just say MP. It's a shortened form of MP3 player, right? MP3 player. We just say MP. And then, you know, sliding sound. Okay. You know, that's the word for sliding sound. Shin good. Green, you know, smile but green, happy smile. Ha ha, noran ai. Noran ai. This is the word that we also saw yesterday. Noran ai. This is actually from noran. What ai? Kid. That's called you. Or kid like you. Haha, <laughs> kid like you. Okay? He's almost very proud of her for the fact that she knows the band. Mojum anen ai. This one, anen. Verb adjective. This is from verb alda. To know. Okay? So also this one you remove R to make it an adjective. The kid that knows a bit what? Something. More. This is from more plus R, right? So technically it is like what object, right? No what. But you can interpret it as something in some context. Kid like you, kid who knows a bit of something, as in, oh, you got a good taste in music, you know something, right? So the last scene, 
감사합니다. 종종 마주친 급식실 오빠는 내가 좋아하는 락이나 메탈 밴드에 대해서 잘 알고 있다. I think this is the last part. This part I didn't write it in the study board, but I can read it. 하하 안녕. 오늘은 링퀸. This is another day, baby. But no, she still she's got the dumplings. I'm not sure why. Maybe this is a fresh dumpling, so she has dumpling errands again another day. He said, "Hi, hey, 안녕. 오늘은 링퀸. For today, 링퀸. Linkin is another band member, and this is also another day. Ho ho! 오늘은 Green Day. Oh, today you're listening to Green Day. I I don't think so. I think it's another day. They just keep bumping into each other. That's why the screen is like a. It looks like he's on the left side. Hi, 안녕. Like, hey, today are you listening to Lin Queen? It's always a new day, yeah. Oh, today you're listening to Green Day, yeah. And then today you're listening to Marilyn Manson. So this is, yeah, I guess so. I don't, I don't recognize any of the bands. <laughs> Rachel knows everything. So alright. So this is the last part. 종종 마주친 급식실 오빠는 내가 좋아하는 락이나 메탈 밴드에 대해서 잘 알고 있었다. So 감사합니다. That's the verb. Thank you so much. 종종. What's 종종? This is a frequency, right? Frequently, often. Often, 마주치다 with adjective. So look up the verb, 마주치다. 마주치다. Okay? 마주치다 to encounter. As you know, they keep encountering every day, right? So, 마주친 급식실 오빠. 급식실 오빠는 subject particle. What's 끄덕? Where do you see 끄덕? 끄덕 is nodding. <laughs> so, the distributing food 오빠, this is older brother, right? 내가, I subject particle, another subject particle. 좋아하는, 좋아하다 verb. Uh, there is last part. 좋아하다, what's that? Like, as an adjective, right? 락이나 메탈 밴드에 대해서 락 이나 What's a lock? This is the English word Same as what? Rock Okay Can you guys see well? My screen is frozen Lock 이나 Rock or metal this is English word metal. Okay? Oh, I guess Rachel likes metal or rock band. Band. This is another English word band. E teheso. What's that? E teheso. Chal algo itta. Algo isotta about regarding that's right no but go 있다 knowing present tense 
but this is the past progress so he was knowing well so this is the main subject related to this verb right so 급식실 오빠 that I encounter often was knowing well about rock or metal band I like this is the adjective clause that comes after and this part is adjective clause to describe 급식실 오빠 again 급식실 오빠 the food distributing 오빠 older brother who I encounter often was knowing well about rock or metal band that I like okay so I feel like she has some connection so this is it today I think next um, part is gonna be she's all excited having butterfly about this guy so tomorrow is gonna be the same webtoon episode 2 but the rest of the part are you guys enjoying the webtoon content Korean metal possibly but I'm not the best person to recommend you any metal song <laughs> but probably there is a Korean metal band yeah Oh, that's good. Thanks for letting me know. So tomorrow we're going to continue the same webtoon for episode 2. Stay tuned for 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you have any questions, leave them comment down below. And if you can just make a few seconds to um, drop some comments because that's going to help the uh, channel to grow. I guess that's gonna trigger Google algorithm somehow. So if you enjoy this, click like and leave them comment down below and I see you tomorrow. Annyeong!